in the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Patrick Matthew and Rosemary Ellen, to pray for God's blessing upon them, to share their joy, and to celebrate their love. As you realise, both Janet and I, plus Rosie's sisters, Alison and Catherine, love and respect Rosie very much indeed. I think you can tell that I believe very, very firmly that Rosie and Paddy are incredibly well matched. But I also know that as a team, they have strength anyway, and strong potential anyway, and just as they are, they can continue to be very, very successful and have a fantastic future. I'd like to invite you to raise your glasses to Rosie and Paddy. As much as I love you all being here, there is only one person who counts today, and that's my beautiful wife, Rosie. The day, Rosie, when you overlooked my countless flaws and said yes on our holiday in Cornwall was the happiest day of my life. Because in that moment, I knew the most special person I'd ever met was going to be part of my life forever. I knew that she was the person that I wanted to share my life with, because Rosie simply makes my life complete, and I'm a happier, I'm far better person for having her in it. Us being together is the most important, fulfilling and joyful thing I could have ever imagined. Rosie, I'm so happy to be stood here today as your husband and I'm so excited about the adventure of marriage that we have ahead of us. I love you Mrs Meikle Brown. In the presence of God and before you this congregation, Paddy and Rosie have given their consent. They have made their marriage vows to each other and declared their marriage by the joining of hands. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. We'll give them a sign of our congratulation. The best advice I can give is to appreciate every moment that comes. The cold winters and the hot summers, the new family members and pets, the holidays and the anniversaries that you will both share together for many more years to come.